Today the champions are in town as Paris Saint-Germain arrive at the velodrome looking to avenge that shock home defeat to us earlier in the season. We've also got a lot of results to get through and some transfer news. <laughs> Hi guys, Gamer James here. Thank you very much for clicking play. Thank you once again for coming back to this Marseille series. It's episode 38. We're coming up to the end of the winter transfer window. We do have some big, big transfer news in and out. And as I say, we've got an awful lot of results to catch up on since the uh, last video. So in recent videos then, I've been doing... Um, the results roundup showing the goals as well. Hope you've enjoyed um, that little new feature. Um, it was something I thought would go quite well. I like the way it's working out, so um, hopefully you do too. Not going to do that this time because we've got 10 games to catch up on. So basically, we've done pretty well. We've won eight of them. Um, in all competitions, we've had uh, Liga and we've had Coupe de la Ligue, we've had French Cup. Uh, so we've Started off after that Tottenham win, we played at home against Lorient, left it late, two late goals from Moussa Dembele got us the win, but it got us the win, that's all that matters. Followed it up with a tricky home game against Bordeaux, and again we won 2-0, uh, Asasibar and Bruno Fernandes got, their, got the goals in this one, um, this was the fourth round of the Coupe de la Ligue, um, so safe passage through uh, against a, a tough opponent. Uh, then Nancy came to town and Moussa Dembele just destroyed them. He got a hat-trick, two of them penalties, um, but it was a really good hat-trick. Luca Perrin got a goal as well, which I think may have been his first for the club. I think that was his first senior goal. Uh, then came the only real blip on the, on the record since that Tottenham game, a 3-0 demolition at Nice. We were never in this match, didn't deserve anything out of it probably should have been worse than 3-0. We were dire in this match. Um, then the French Cup ninth round, we had a tie against Stade Montois Football and we beat them 3-1. Uh, we kind of played with quite a lot of reserve team, a lot of fringe players. Makalek scored after just three minutes. Bruno Fernandes and Jordan Ayew got the other goals. Uh, Timothy Joubert scored an absolute screamer in this match as well which um, should have just popped up there for you to see but in the end dominant performance and safe passage through then we had a double header against Stade de Reim in the Coupe de la Ligue quarterfinal and in Ligue 1 and we battered them in both games 4-1 winning the Coupe de la Ligue Bruno Fernandes an own goal and Moussa Dembele and Lucas Perrin again um, got us a 4-1 win and we went one better just a few days later in the league beating them 5-1 uh, this was away from home. Uh, Depay, a brace from Asasibar, an own goal again, and Thiago getting us the goals. We were 5-0 uh, up at half-time. We lost the second half. Uh, Cedinho scored for them, and it was 5-1 at full-time. But, you know, it was such a good performance, that one. Possibly our best one of the season so far, other than uh, the game in Paris. Uh, next up then was a home game against Angers, and they really are our bogey team. They beat us 5-2 a couple of seasons ago. Uh, we had the 3-3 earlier in the season when we were 3-1 up. This time we just couldn't break through. It finished 0-0. It was a frustrating game, but at least uh, at least we didn't get sucker punched. Um, Stade Rene were then the next visitor, uh, the next opponents. Uh, Moussa Dembele got a brace, and Assasibar got the other goal as well. Assasibar's been in phenomenal form recently and um, so a good solid 3-1 win away and we followed that up in the Coupe de la Ligue semi-final beating Monaco 1-0 with a first minute free kick from Andrea Pereira again I'll just slot that in here so you can see it it was a lovely free kick and then we were pretty much clinging on for the rest of the match uh, but we held on and we go through where if I'm assuming you've probably already looked to head down we will be playing Paris Saint-Germain in the final again always seem to be playing Paris Saint-Germain and Monaco in the Coupe de la Ligue uh, we also have had the first knockout round draw and we will be playing Sturm Graz of Austria so I 
I'm very, very happy with that. That is a really good draw for us. We should make it through that without any problem at all. A look at the league table then, and the defeat at Nice and the draw against Angers have really damaged us. Um, it, it's bizarre, isn't it? We're on a really good run of form, and yet we're still five points off the top two. Paris Saint-Germain have lost three games this season and are still five points clear of us. It's really frustrating. Um, but we're on 50 points. We are 12 ahead of Con, who have dropped to fifth. Um, Monaco are right on our heels. They're four points behind us in fourth. So we're, at the minute, we're clinging on to the Euro European Champions League um, qualifying spot, the playoff spot. Um, Monaco, of course, are in the Europa League spot. So we we really need to claw back some um, some ground on Lyon and Paris Saint-Germain, hopefully starting today. Um, there has been some transfer news with our team. I'll get to that in a second. But Lyon finally sold Alexandre Lacazette. He has gone. Um, I can't remember where he went, but he, he has been sold. So a big part of their attack has now gone. So we have got... Transfer news, as I say, Ogajan Ozyakup has gone. He came and said he wasn't happy about his first team football. He wasn't getting an awful lot at the moment. So I said, I'll I'll sell him. And he was happy with that. So he's gone to Toulouse. Have we got pretty decent money for him. We got 16 and a half million. Four times what we paid for him. So I'm quite happy with that. We've had four brilliant, brilliant seasons out of three and a half brilliant seasons out of him and made a heck of a lot of money and got rid of a huge wage as well. So win-win, I think, there. In terms of players coming in, then we've got a couple. Christopher Julien is um, a backup centre-back. Uh, he's French. He came up, um, he, he came onto the market pretty cheap, 725000 It was a decent one because he's slightly better than some of our young youngsters that are coming through. So he's quite a good little backup. Um, and... He's done all right when he's played. He hasn't let anyone down. He's made uh, what, 13 appearances in all competitions so far. And he's he's doing okay. He's solid enough. He's not spectacular. He'll probably be one that we just let him run the contract down and probably let him go on a free at the end of it. But, you know, he's going to do... He's really good in the air, which is a great, great thing as well at both ends of the pitch. But he'll just do a job as and when we need it. And this is the big one. This is our record signing. Francisco Javier, left-footed winger, um, training him to be the right-sided in, inside forward. Uh, we've bought him from Espanyol for 35 million euros. Basically, he came on my radar because Chelsea made a bid for him. I had a look at him. He's a wonder kid. I had to have him. So we went in, and I think we matched their bid, I think, or we um, maybe went slightly above theirs. And he chose us over Chelsea, which I am delighted about. He's 20, but just look at those stats. His crossing is unbelievable. He is so quick. He's strong. He's naturally fit, so those physical attributes are never going to really diminish. If anything, they'll get better. Uh, he's he just looks the business he's valued at 36 million euros as i say he's a wonder kid we've got him on a four and a half year deal couldn't be happier he's already made his debut and done okay i am kind of tempted to go to wingers while i've got him while he's training to be a, an inside forward but i think we'll do a little bit of both uh depending on the opponents and everything but oh, so good to get this guy in these are our past meetings then with paris Saint-Germain. we seem to play psg more than any other club Probably PSG and Monaco are the two we play because we always play them in the Cups. You can see we've had three Cup games against them already. Um, we've got another Cup final against them. Uh, so by the end of this season, we'll have played them 14 times. Obviously, they're well ahead. They've won eight and drawn one, and we've managed to rack up three wins. But we do score goals. We have scored 14 goals against them, so we can get through. It's whether we can keep them out is the, uh, is the question. This then is a team that I am entrusting to go and beat Paris Saint-Germain, do the double over them hopefully. Pedrak Rajkovic is in goal, he's recently been injured so Guillaume Kone, um, one of our regen keepers, has played three or four games in a row. Uh, Rajkovic has been back for the last couple um, which is really good ahead of this match. Um, Muasa at left back, Malang Sarr and Gabriel Paulista in the centre, Kyle Walker at right back, Thiago and Benjamin Stambouli in the middle. And then it's Depay, Andrade and Francisco Javier. I am giving him the game 
Um, I'm going to give him the big game, see if he can handle it. We've got Moussa Dembele, of course, up front. Shall we see if we can do this? These are the two teams then. Um, just look at their team. You know, they've got De Bruyne, they've got Morata, Pjanic, Verratti still there. It's just a scary, scary team. Although looking at ours, it's pretty good as well. I would say I'm, you know, this the squad is now getting really, really good. Both playing a four-two-three-one. It should be a really interesting match. I'm actually quietly confident that we can do something here. You know, it's uh, we're gonna we're gonna passionately get them going. And we're gonna tell them to go out there, give the fans the money's worth. Moussa Dembele's got got some confidence, which is big. He is obviously the um the key man in this fixture for us 25 goals he's got so far this season don't need the latest scores because we're the only game if we do lose this match though kind of got to think that the top two challenge could be over leon play bordeaux this weekend which is a massive game um in bordeaux so hopefully they can do us a favor and beat leon regardless of what we do here um Title's probably unrealistic, but we definitely need Leon to be dropping points so that we can catch second and not have to go through a playoff. So here we go. The velodrome will be bouncing for a match like this. It would be what an atmosphere in the velodrome. It's a beautiful, beautiful stadium. But there could be silenced here. Tiago mops up well. Memphis could be away down the left. Oh, and he's run straight into Pjanic, but De Bruyne sets so Yathabal away. Get in there. Verratti, absolute beast in midfield. And Everton, what a tackle, but it breaks for a Yatabal and Rajkovic tips it round the post. So far, it has been a really turgid affair. Um, not, oh, nothing has happened, really. There hasn't been an awful lot of anything going on, really. But here's Rajkovic with the goal kick. Malang Sar, we're approaching the half-hour mark. As I say, we've had three shots each. And that has been it, really. Here's Dembele. Andrade can't follow up, Lindelof and they just play it out of the back beautifully and Morata joy to watch that, it's a great little move, Morata's still going but his shot is blocked by Gabriel Francisco Javier dispossessed, we haven't seen anything of him in this match at the moment tempted to switch it to wingers we'll have to see as Ayathabal puts one just wide short goal kick from Rajkovic Francisco Javier is giving it away. He's having an absolute stinker at the minute. Here's Morata. Good hit and Rajkovic tips around the post. Francisco Javier is really, really not having a good first half. He possibly overwhelmed by the occasion. Um, of course, he's, he's not massively familiar with the inside forward role. As Everton's shot is charged down, it's a corner. So yeah, might have to put Javier over on the other side and go back to wingers and just try and stretch the play a little bit, I think. Rajani. Got a lot of time on the ball there. Here's De Bruyne. And he's lifted it forward, looking for Morata. What a tackle by Gabriel. That was a brilliant tackle. A crucial tackle. We have gone to wingers now. Um, just to try and stretch the play a bit. And let's see if we can just pull them out of shape a little bit. Get some crosses in get Dembele on the end of them because we've seen nothing of us as an attacking force really what little highlights there have been have been Paris Saint-Germain here's Thiago Francisco Javier right he's in his natural habitat now out on the left wing and that is a good ball in and Stambouli's going to hit it and it's gone just wide what a cross though from Francisco Javier if we had a slightly better physical striker Dembele's not the greatest in the air that could have made something but we've reached half time it is nil nil what we are going to do is assertively tell them that we're not happy because it's been a rubbish performance so far Thiago's looking really tired he'll be coming off in about 10 minutes I think he was only 92 percent fit going into the match but it's Thiago he's our best midfielder he had to play this match um, possibly I should have managed him a little better to be fair in the game before um, but you know we need him as much as we can so but he will have to come off soon because he's going to be knackered but here he is and there's Andrade who's been anonymous as well at the minute but Dembele it's a good turn and we've got a corner come on boys that's better that is much better 50% possession uh, we've had so far as Thiago puts that in and it's not a great header from Kozawa 
Here's Gabrielle, all the way back to Kyle Walker. Lifted out to Thiago, and the ball in. Mwasa's going to try, and it's cleared away. Here's Morata, leading the charge, and they are flooding forward. But Malang Sar, expert, expert defending from Malang Sar. He is so good. He's wanted, I think, by a club. Oh, how has De Bruyne snuck that in? That is awful from Rajkovic. Absolutely woeful goalkeeping. Don't think he was expecting it. Because he seemed this shot just seemed to come out of nothing. Oh, it takes a big deflection, but he should be saving that. Ferrati goes across to Rogani. That goal has really annoyed me. Rajkovic, we paid 17 million for him. Uh, Borussia Dortmund are after him six months after we signed him, and he, he lets in a goal like that. He, he's a four star goalkeeper. He should be doing better than that. That is awful, and it is going to really damage us. If Leon win in Bordeaux now, on the back of this, uh, as things stand, we are toast as far as the top two are concerned. We will not catch those two. We will definitely be looking to try and cling on to third. And if Monaco win their game as well, then the pressure really starts to mount. But can we get in, back into this match first? Our rate, player ratings are absolutely abysmal. Here's Stambouli, Thiago, Memphis. Oh, and he's going to break for Dembele. Oh, I do not believe I've just seen that. I do not believe I've just witnessed that. That was unbelievable. That is probably the worst miss I have seen on FM17. It was a shocker. Here's Andrade. Lifted four for Dembele. He'll be coming off in a minute. There's no way that he can stay on after that miss. Here he is. Or can he redeem himself? Good turn. Plays it into Andrade. And he's put it wide now. Free kick. Long way out for Memphis. And long way off target. Uh, we've got two substitutes on. Bruno Fernandes, Ivalio, Churchev have come on for Thiago and Andrade. Um, Moussa Dembele is still out there at the minute. Because he's... He's Moussa Dembele. He's got to get... He's got to get on the score sheet at some point, surely. Come on. We've also aggressively demanded more because the chances we have created, you can't miss those chances. And you had the Dembele one and then the Andrade one straight after. You cannot be missing those sort of chances against Paris Saint-Germain. They were really good chances. We should be level. It's not acceptable. It really is not acceptable. Another free kick for Memphis and it's another one way, way, way off target. Memphis clips a nice one in there. Here's Bruno Fernandes. Good tackle. Francisco Javier can't score. Morata will look to bring it away. Marquinhos. I mean, they, they will be slowing it down soon. They will be bringing it right down, retaining possession. They'll be looking to see it out soon enough, you would imagine. Rajkovic claims that cross. Oh, Dembele could be in here. He is in. Oh, it's an awful error. Oh, we have got the equaliser. We left Dembele on. It has proved to be the right decision. Moussa Dembele. Marquinhos left it for Rulli. Rulli left it for Marquinhos. Dembele makes them pay. Memphis with the free kick. Out to Moassa. Come on. Good cross. It is a good cross. Oh, it's headed away. And De Bruyne is going to bring it forward. Come on, get in there, boys. Oh, Rabio and Morata. No. Oh, Rajkovic has tipped it over. Brilliant save. At the minute, a draw probably isn't a bad result, but we desperately need three points. Desperately need three points here. Kyle Walker to take the throw. What was that? That was awful throw. Here's Verratti and Morata. Come on. Got in there and tackled well. Kyle Walker now. Lifts it for what a pass. Bruno Fernandes and now little 1-2 with Memphis. Chochef coming forward. Cracks a shot away. Breaks on Memphis. And really tips it wide. That was a really good attack. Come on, Sisto. Goes out to the edge of the box. Memphis back to Sisto. Ah, oh, really cl plucks that one out of the air. Here's Sisto. Memphis. Chochef. Stambouli. It's us making all the running at the minute. Sisto brings another save. 
out of Ruli. Moassa keeps it going. Here's Saar, but Otto gets to it, and De Bruyne to Morata. This game has certainly sprung to life, hasn't it? As Memphis works back well. Oh, but Everton's muscled him off the ball. Good tackle, but it's going to break for Rabio, and he's missed. Wow, that's their own Dembele-style miss. That was a big, big opportunity for them to win the game. Here's Dembele now. Oh, Verratti, just a pit bull. But Stambouli's won it back, and here's Dembele. And he's dwelt on the ball, didn't know what to do with it there. Gabriel to Malang Sar. Mouassa. Oh, that's an awful pass from Mouassa. You just telegraph that all day long. But Malang Sar again tidying up. But they're coming out as a Maratas in, and Rajkovic saves. That's what a four star goalkeeper should be doing. He should be keeping you in the game. We have desperate to get this win. Come on. Oh, Rabio's in, and Rajkovic again. We have 90 seconds to go. We've gone attacking to try and desperately get the win. Walker's down to Memphis. No, why have you done that? Oh, he's gone for glory. You had two players in space, and he's gone for the glory from the impossible angle. Oh, he could have laid it on a plate for Dembele. Could have laid it on a plate for Bruno Fernandes. Memphis Depay, I can never forgive you for that. Oh, absolutely heartbreaking. This is just going to peter out now, you would imagine. But come on, Memphis, redeem yourself now. No. Ah, I was so excited when I signed Memphis Depay, and he's probably had three good games since we signed him. He has been really, really underwhelming signing. He has been so frustrating. It's 1-1 turned into an entertaining game in the end oh, that is gutting ok then the league table after that draw all the games have now been played the great news is the Bordeaux did kind of do us a favour Lyon and Bordeaux drew 2-2 Monaco though won in Toulouse which tightens things up at the top so we're still five points behind, but Monaco have clawed it back now and are just two points behind us and seven behind the top two. So it's going to be a it is going to be a really nervy running now. Fifteen games to go, all to play for. As I said, we haven't lost ground on the top. It's annoying that we haven't been able to make ground up, but we have taken four points off Paris Saint Germain this season, and that is progress. Massive, massive progress if we can beat them in the coupe de la league final as well now that would just be the icing on the cake um it's such a shame that we couldn't get that win now i'm still not happy with memphis for that still will <laughs> will never forgive him unless he scores the winner in the in the cup final or i just cannot believe when he's through like that he just has to lay it back show a bit of composure and he goes and goes for glory like that unforgivable unforgivable right I am thinking there's not really much point doing the Europa League match against Sturm Graz because it should be a given really that we go through now the away leg is first which is quite handy because if it's a dodgy result then we might do the second leg but in between the two legs we've got a home game against Lyon now that's the game that I think I should be doing really yeah can't wait for it um if you like this video like the video subscribe if you're new if you haven't already and i will see you for another huge league game